All right, guys, welcome to our tip number 49. And today what we're going to be covering is Model Studio. This is an interactive studio for exploratory model analysis. And you can see a visualization here, actually four different visualizations. So this is a really amazing package that is allowing us to understand what are the most important features in our data set, what, how the XGBoost model in particular that we developed today breaks down and they show what's called a breakdown plot and you can see which feature contributes to changing the um, the prediction value so we're going to go through some of this stuff today show you how model studio works and let's get started so to get started here i'm going to x out of this and i'm going to show you how to how to first develop one of these model studio plots so we can explore our models all right so a uh, couple of things first if you haven't signed up for our tips please sign up here we have the weekly art tips the uh use this url and you will be able to get signed up to for our art tips newsletter you'll get these tips every week next the documentation if you need to learn anything more beyond this tutorial check out this link right here it'll sh show you how this software works in much more detail than we can cover in five minutes but the game plan is to get you started today uh, if you need to install this package, just run install packages model studio and that'll get you set up. And I'm going to do control shift, uh, control shift C to comment that out. Um, next, we're going to load four different libraries, model studio, Daleks, tidyverse and tidy models, control and enter. Next, we're going to create some data. I'm just using the MPG data set. So this is the, what the MPG data set looks like. And we're going to select the highway vehicle. And we're going to try and predict what the fuel economy is for all of these vehicles. Uh, we're going to select highway vehicle. And then as a function of manufacturer model, sill, trans, driver, we want to remove the city feature because this is going to be too correlated with highway. Um, and then we're going to keep these two, um, the fuel type and the class. So we're going to save that as data tibble. Um, and then we're going to quickly create a model. Now I'm not going to go into all the details, but if you want, um, this is using the tidy models package. And what we're going to do is create just an XG boost model, control and enter. We very quickly create an XG boost model. This is as a high modeling highway as a function of, uh, every, all the other features in our data tibble. And you can see, we get a parsnip model object from there. Next, what we have to do is create an explainer. Um, this is really the key piece. Once you create an explainer, you use this function Daleks explain. We're going to set our model equal to this XG boost model that we've created. And then we're going to give it our data and we're going to select Y equals the data table um, highway. So that's just the Y variable it tells the explainer which variable is our predictor. And then uh, we're going to give a label of this model. And that's just to um, help Model Studio know that this uh, label this as an XG boost model. All right, once you do that, create our explainer and we are ready to rock and roll. The final step, Model Studio. Uh, we're gonna use a Model Studio function from Model Studio and we just provided our explainer. This will take a second. It's gotta go through and calculate a few things. So we'll reconvene once it's done calculating and then I will show you how to create these plots. All right, so we are now have our interactive studio for XGBoost model. So basically what we've done is we've created an XGBoost model and then we've created this Daleks explainer object. And then now what Model Studio does is it creates this little app here that allows us to dive into the model. The default visualization is a global feature importance. So uh, I'm gonna talk about global, I'm gonna talk about local. Um, so global means over the entire data set, XGBoost found the displacement to be the most important feature. Uh, and it's about five times as important as this model feature. Model is almost a one. The displacement is about a five. Um, it's a, a cylinder. It's about probably like a hundred times more important than that. So because cylinder isn't a very important feature. Uh, and that's the way that you would read this chart. But they have several other charts here. Um, they also have a little drop down here where you can pick um, several different features, like individual features, um, which are, match these different columns in the data set. Um, so if we wanted to, uh, we could check out manufacturer, uh, which is somewhat of an important feature, not super important. Um, and then I'll show you how to do uh, switch this to displacement here in a minute. 
And then these are some of the different observations that you can uh, check out. So uh, let's create another part uh, plot. We're going to first create a breakdown plot. Breakdown is an amazing plot. I love this plot because it visually shows you what the prediction is. Um, so our prediction is 24.393 for this uh, ID. Um, we can see that the horsepower is, uh, or the uh, fuel economy, highway fuel economy is only 12 miles per gallon. And the reason that is, is because, uh, and you can see this is what the um, uh, prediction is, is 24 miles per gallon. And that's because it's a class minivan. Um, it's manufactured Dodge, which is hurting it a lot. Uh, dr uh, drivetrain is um, uh, front front drivetrain displacement is 2.4. So being a smaller engine, it boosts it up a lot. Um, the highway, and then being uh, manufactured Dodge uh, transmission auto L3 um, or I3 uh, hurts it a little bit. And that's the way you would read this. It's year 1999. That hurts it a little bit. Older vehicles tend to have worse fuel economy. Okay, so that's cool. That's the breakdown plot. Um, you can switch these up and you can also get some information about these. Uh, if you just hit the X, you can exit out of that. Uh, if you want to add in a breakdown plot again, just uh, pick the uh, breakdown, which is right down here. Um, okay, next we can do um, what's called a local um, and we can do shapely values. So shapely is going to help us to determine again, which are the most important features. Um, and it's another uh, very popular technique. So this is for a local observation. So again, ID 70. So if we change this to ID 38, uh, which has a 24 uh, mile per gallon or ID 222, which has a 44 mile per gallon, it's going to give you different shapely values again. These are um, local uh, plots, and you can see that the breakdown plot updates. Um, so pretty cool. You can see here that this particular uh, model is uh, 44 mile per gallon, and we can see that this is the new Beetle. Uh, it's made by Volkswagen. Uh, it's got a very, um, it looks like 11.85, uh, so our displacement is 1.9, which so this is telling us that our displacement is the most important feature for this particular vehicle. Um, all right, let's do one more. Um, let's do a partial dependence plot. So we can do a global partial dependence. And this is related to the manufacturer right now. So we have it set to manufacturer, but again, this isn't a very important feature. So what I might wanna do is I might wanna check out the most important feature, displacement, and this thing switches. So this is how that model would predict uh, as displacement changes from 1.6 up to 7. So you can see that that average prediction, which is the highway fuel economy, peaks out around uh, 35, and then it jumps down here to uh, 26, or excuse me, this is, sorry, this is 33.88, uh, um, and then the it drops down to 26 as you increase, and then you can see so you can really see what the effect is of the displacement on how that model predicts, that XG boost model. And you can see that as displacement gets higher, the uh, highway fuel economy drops down to around 23-ish. So that means the engine size has more uh, area or volume, um, uh, which is the, what the displacement means. So um, a seven liter uh, displacement would be a very large engine uh, versus a 1.6 liter displacement would be a very small engine. So small engines def uh, definitely have lower horsepower. Um, okay, so there it is. That's how you would use Interactive Studio um, if you wanna learn more. So I have a free masterclass. So what we've gone over here is just a small sample of what you can do as a data scientist. And if you really wanna become a data scientist, I have 10 secrets that are amazing. These are things that really took me over five years to learn and I'm presenting them to you in a 40 minute presentation. So definitely check this out. I go over my 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist using the R programming language. And I have a ton of cool secrets in there, things that are super value packed. It'll be, I promise the best 40 minutes of your day. So check that out. If you are interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, right here's the URL sign up and I'll have a link in the comments. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.